Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, we're going to break down Edward Jones' credit card catalog. So, of course, we will look at a little bit more about Edward Jones' company. We'll talk about their cards, specifically the earnings, the redemptions, how they work, how they could tie into your investment strategy if you're an Edward Jones client or come out and see if these are worth a slot in your wallet and perhaps even moving some investments to the company. So, of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, as we always do, we will start out with the classic did you know slide here. So going back a ways, Edward Jones, founded back in 1922 by none other than Mr. Edward D. Jones himself. They are more of an investment services firm than anything else, but you know, like a lot of companies in financial services, why not branch out and offer customers you know, every aspect of financial services that you can, but you'll know them more for you know brokerage accounts, investments account, things like that. Now, they did expand into the Great White North in Canada in 1990. Currently, they have about $1.6 trillion in assets under management from about 8 million different clients and cards that are going to be issued by Elan Financial Services. So our good friends over at Elan Financial Services, you'll know them best for those um a max cash rewards cards that people tend to like. Elan is technically like an arm or division of a U.S. bank. And they just kind of run credit card programs for smaller banks or institutions that don't really want to, you know, run their own credit card program per se, but they still want to offer credit cards. We have a full video on Elon as well if you are interested in some of those. So kind of foreshadowing to what you might see in their cards. Now, let's take a look at the earnings redemptions and then get into the cards themselves. There are three cards to take a look at. Uh, but when it comes to it, these are going to be primarily cash back cards. They do earn points and they do have other redemptions that you can see, but primarily cash back. Now, for as far as value, every 5,000 points equals 50 bucks. Um, the auto redemption at the 5K mark um, into your account of choice, if you want, you can set that up. Your points do expire after five years, which is a shame. It's a staple of Elan Credit uh, Services, I believe, but you never like to see points expirations. Now, your redemptions, again, are going to be statement credit, travel, donations, merchandise, gift cards, or real-time rewards. Um, or, you know, the, again, the main one here is to, you know, cash these out directly, that auto redemption into to one of your uh, your accounts so we take a look at the accounts again you know edward jones what they're most known for type of investment accounts but the accounts you have them on screen I mean, you're talking about your retirement accounts so those would be 401ks or iras roth iras your brokerage accounts as well your personal brokerage accounts they do have a cash management option as well. And of course, they have education accounts uh, for you folks with children out there. So again, the idea here is that you'd be earning points very easily. That You can set that auto cash out option to just transfer them to one of those linked accounts, and then it will be money that you could invest. So there's that. Now let's take a look at the cards. Again, there are three options, two personal, one business. So we'll start off on the personal side of the house. We have the Edward Jones World Cards. So this is a world as in world master card. So no annual fee, multipliers here, one X back on all purchases there's a slight benefit here though they do offer 4x back loyalty points on travel book via their travel center i believe loyalty points kind of just what they call their points currency there but you do get a little bit of boost if you go through their portal now, in addition to that, they have the next tier up, which is the Edward Jones World Plus card. Looks the exact same. We just go from world to world plus. Again, no annual fee here. Multipliers here. You can step up to 1.5x back on all purchases. And you do get 2x back on all purchases after you spend $20,000 per year. So your first 20 k will be at 1.5x. Then everything after that 20 k on this card will be at the 2x back. Benefits here, you carry over the same loyalty points on 4x back from booking through the Travel Center. And of course, you have no foreign transaction fees, which is a little bit nice to see there. Now, we do have one business card to take a look at, the Edward Jones Business Plus card. So again, no annual fee. This mirrors the card we just took a look at just for business accounts. Uh, so again, 1.5 on all purchases. This time to qualify for the 2% back, you do need to spend $40,000 on the card in a year, a little bit more. But again, it is a business card targeted at you know, businesses who would you know spend more money. So I guess it makes sense. And you do keep the same benefits for back on loyalty points um, through the Travel Center and then no foreign transaction fees. Now, lastly here, if you are interested in these, um, application is a little bit different. If you go to their website, you know, there's not necessarily a way that you can just apply as just a general member of the public. 
because again, this is, you know, basically for customers, you know, who, who already have Edward Jones accounts. So if you do not have one, then you'd want to, they want you to first meet with a financial advisor. Ideally, they're going to have you open up a brokerage account or something. It doesn't really make sense. I don't believe it's a requirement of these cards, but it doesn't really make sense to do these if you aren't going to open one of those accounts. You don't want to be an Edward Jones customer. Now, if you are an existing customer, then you can just straight apply online in your normal profile. So, Again, just be aware of that if you are interested. Now, overall thoughts here before we wrap this one up. I mean, it's not uncommon. This business model isn't uncommon where we see a lot of, you know, um, financial institutions like this offer cards. Charles Schwab has one. They're through like the Amex partnership. Fidelity has one. Uh, you name it, they all they tend to have partnerships like this. The real the real question here is I'm not sure why they have the card that earns 1x back and they have the card that earns 1.5x. Obviously, totally right off the one that earns 1x back if you're going to do this because they both have no annual fee there, so it doesn't make a ton of sense. And, you know, I think if you're just, you know, if you're with them and you really love their services and want to be in one place, I mean, fine. But the obvious answer here is that, you know, 2% back is the table minimum. You do get that with the Fidelity Cash Rewards card. But again, that would be required you to be, you know, Fidelity customer. I would make the most sense over there. But as always, we say with these, you know, nothing's really keeping you from getting a Classic City Double Cash or a Wells Fargo Active Cash or a SoFi card. They give you a flat 2% back on everything and simply cashing out that cash over there and then transferring it into your brokerage account uh, once a month, once a quarter, once a year, whatever you want that cadence to be. Yes, it is an extra step, but I mean, it doesn't require you to spend $20,000 to get into that 2% range, right? Obviously, you can get a bunch of different cashback cards and make a lot more more money that way but again these really aren't targeted at those people so I don't think it's necessarily a fair comparison or recommendation to throw out um so you know I mean if you just don't care and you want everything in one place I mean so be it these cards are a little bit nicer than ones we've seen like this because of that travel portal redemption or that elevated rate through the travel portal. But again, if you're doing a ton of travel, then you might want to consider a dedicated travel card that's going to come with a lot more travel protections and benefits and things like that. So, you know, it really just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. But I do think for most people going, adding one extra step of getting a city double cash, uh, getting to flat 2% back and just cashing out to, to, uh, to cashing it out to cash and then moving it to uh, Edward Jones. And the reason we go with the double cash in this example is because double cash, not to confuse things with two card systems, but it, uh, double cash earns thank you points. You can cash them out in any amount and you can cash them out to external bank accounts as well. So really you could, if you had a cash management account with, you know, Edward Jones or something, something you could easily do that and it wouldn't even be that much extra of a step or again you could just move it out you know transfer as you will so you've got options that's kind of how I would look at it personally and of course if you have these cards I'd love to get your thoughts on them and how you're using them primarily into your investment strategies the rest of the other cashback options or redemption options probably don't make a ton of sense here it's really going to be just for the to load up your account with some easy money so anyways guys if you like this one drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel because we're posting content just like this every single week right back here every Sunday with all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance and of course every single day over on profitablecontent.com where we have the latest bank bonuses credit credit card offers, and news stories. Again, question for you guys. Let me know what you think about these, especially if you're an Edward Jones client. How do they fit into your strategy? Or what other cards do you use to supplement your strategy? Love to get your thoughts on that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.